Stevie Brooks reporting live from Gospel Oak Road. Words just cannot describe what is happening here as we speak. People's houses and even people are trapped and buried alive inside their homes. This is absolutely horrible. Behind me, brave firemen are trying to rescue these people, but the flames just don't seem to be weakening. As far as we know, this had happened one after the other. It all began three years ago in a country lane, when mysteriously a house erupted into flames. Exactly what we're witnessing now. Our only warning to the public are, do not light any candles or fire inside your household. You can actually feel the heat from here. Leaving your house is probably the best and safest solution at this moment in time. Because I personally feel a lot safer outside. Hello? Ash, about time you called back. You said you called two hours ago. Where are you? Yeah, I know, I know. Listen, I've been doing some research on your friend. Who? Rush Jackson? Why are you finding information on him for? Look, I know you two were close and ever since that night that he got killed in that fire, you haven't slept a single night. Such a mystery. Ross Jackson died in a fire. It was an accident. The gas was leaking. Researching him isn't going to bring him back, and nor will his brother Jason. Look, I know you miss him, and I understand that you and I won't be as close as you and him were. What do you mean, you and I? I don't remember us getting hitched all of a sudden. I know you're angry, but don't take it out on me, okay? Now, I'm in a public library on George Street. If you want to come out and find out information about his whole family and why they got wiped out in the blazes, then I'll be waiting for you.
you're never alone, you know. True love begins when nothing is asked for in return. You used to say that to me when we were kids. Fine, I'll see you in a bit, Ash. Yeah.